This video is intended to talk about how to integrate GitHub into IntelliJ. Uh, to demonstrate this, we'll start a new project. Let's just call it the GitHub demo. So <clears throat> when you're in IntelliJ, there's a couple of things uh, that we need to set up. So to get GitHub working, first you're going to go to File, and settings. And under settings, you'll see version control. You expand version control and come down. You'll see there is both GitHub and Git. What you want to configure is GitHub. Now in here with GitHub, uh, if you haven't configured it, it'll say add account. Um, when you're adding your GitHub account, make sure you use your GitHub username. I don't think it allows you to use your, your email address. So in my case, my username is Jared Wright. Your username would be different. Um, you can always see it uh, right here um, when looking at your, um, your profile. Um, <clears throat> so that's the first thing that you'll need to set up. And once you have that set up, if, let's just create a simple Java class here, um, I don't know, the empty class. So at this point, I can say, under version control system, VCS, import into version control, and share project on GitHub. This may or may not work for you. If, uh, if you get a little pop-up that comes down here that says, um, could not find git.exe, and you have the choice of download or configure, what you need to do is you need to get your GitHub desktop. So to get that, you're going to say GitHub desktop download. And what this does is this is going to put uh, the GitHub uh, local repo um, and all the related uh, code on your computer. And then this allows your local to communicate with GitHub in the cloud. Um, so you would download it and install it. <clears throat> and then what you do is in IntelliJ, again, going back under settings, actually you can just click configure uh, down below. Um, <clears throat> but under Git, what you'll see is something along the lines of this, where it's gonna be like your user's directory, your, your name, app data. A lot of times I find the app data directory is hidden. So you can just type it right in there. Um, and then local, GitHub desktop, and then whatever version of the app you're using, and then resources, slash app, slash git, slash command, <laughs> and then you'll find git.exe. For whatever reason, IntelliJ does not seem to find that automatically, um, although it looks like it should be able to, and you can test it, and it will, it'll validate that you've got local git running. Um, at that point, you should be able to import into version control. So we'll go down, say share project on GitHub. You can see it's loading the account information. Um, and if I hit share, you can see it's adding files to the local Git. And then at a certain point, it should be pushing to, uh, here we go. So here's our empty class that we're adding. It's the initial commit, we'll say okay. Now you can see it's pushing to GitHub and it's successfully shared. Now, if I make changes to my file, so let's do, there we go, a little hello world. So now when I'm uh, working in um, IntelliJ, I can see that there's been changes. See, all in green here, it's showing as those are, that's new code that's been added and not pushed up to Git. If I uh, hit save, this still stays, is showing as a change. So what I can do is I can right click and go down to Git. And I like to just do commit directory, just commit all my changes. And in here, I'm gonna say added, uh, you know, hello 
world. It's always good to put a descriptive uh, commit message. And here you can see there's a commit and push. So what this will do is it'll commit it both to the local repo, but it'll also push it to the cloud. So we say commit and push and push. And you can see here it's pushing and it's been updated. And I can go into um, my GitHub. And if I click on repositories, I can see this GitHub demo is just updated now. And if we go down, we can see here's code from our initial commit. But in the source directory, something changed about 18 seconds ago. If I click on it, I can go in and I can see this kind of useless class, but I can, I can see my code right there. I can see a history of my code. Um, so if I look at the initial commit, I can see, oops. Um, <clears throat> I can see what's changed from one commit to the next. So, all these four lines in green have been added. And if I look at the initial commit, you can see it was just this empty class. So that's that. That is uh, updating uh, GitHub, uh, in integrating it into IntelliJ.